Friends and family, thank you for joining me here at the American News Network with Chris Sanders. Major news network on Google and on iTunes on your apps. We have Kamala Harris and her uh, team pulling away from Netanyahu. We also understand that the supply ships to our aircraft carriers out there will be remaining without any fuel. America is a sitting duck at this present moment. We are merely out there by posture as we're letting Benjamin Netanyahu get away with murder. So as such, it seems like Kamala Harris might be walking her own separate way and walking away from the war. Now, she says this is her stance, but I wouldn't believe it at all because remember her husband, Doug Imhoff, is a Jew, and she's Jewish, she's German, and she is Indian. She might have one sixteenth black in her, and uh, those are all the things I've discovered from that. Now, what I'm going to bring up are investments, and it's true that Doug Imhoff, he has a lot of stock in Blackwater, BlackRock, and other companies that have invested uh, in lithium mines and crystals. But <clears throat> did they move this hurricane to hit the area? That's up to you to think about. I'm one, of, I'm one to think about how God controls the heavens and the earth. But I will tell you something very interesting about what's going on, in my opinion, with this uh, new hurricane, Melton, that's coming in. Now, the reason why it's, uh, it's very uh, interesting to me is because typically all of our hurricanes come out of the Atlantic, and then they slam from basically uh, coming from Africa, basically, and they come across. But in this case, this is almost like something that came out of the Pacific Ocean, and now it then went over Mexico and is coming from the west to the east. And so this thing didn't originate out in the Atlantic. And now it's just now about right here. Okay, and we don't really know where it's going to go from here on out. But it seems like we're going to get slammed up in the center more. But <clears throat> the reason why this is an anomaly to me is because the storm literally came over Mexico from the Pacific again and not from the Atlantic. So again, we have a storm that's literally coming. Uh, it's kind of like a, a left pitch. Now, they don't know if it's going to hit Florida or wherever else, but I'm just trying to get you to understand how typically we get hurricanes that have originated out of the Atlantic Ocean, and then they come in and hit through Texas or up through Louisiana. But this is originating kind of like right out of the Yucatan. It came over uh, from the Pacific, and if this becomes a norm, uh, we could be faced with uh, way different weather patterns than we've ever seen. Now, could they be harp or something else? Well, I showed this thing where a lot of the 5G towers were flashing like 5 million watts in gamma and microwave ray, and I don't know if that did it, but it changed the Coriolis pattern up the middle of the United States to where it wasn't the same pattern that we see at the equator. Now, this could also be because the magnetic pole has just hit a super volcano up at the North Pole and it's moving a lot too. But a lot of interesting things are kind of going on with that. And I just wanted you to know uh, we got another hurricane coming in. And so we got to protect everybody out in North Carolina fast because there's more water coming in. And uh, they say that this has got 180 mile winds and uh, it's uh, it's already looking pretty, pretty scary. So at the same time with that, we have all the Arab nations, 22, getting together. Um, they want to let us know they use the Fatah 1, not the Fatah 2. And I guess I'm the only person reporting this fact that uh, now Iran is a nuclear power. That's correct. Maybe you need to hear it again. Iran is now a nuclear power as of yesterday, and this can be confirmed by a 4.2 magnitude earthquake and a 4.5 magnitude earthquake, as read by Pakistan and India, as they know. So the response from Israel has not been immediate. 
because a present from Putin probably has been gifted to Iran. They've always had what they need to take it off. Don't forget this is an OPEC country. And now we've had a kind of a unified threat from Putin and from Iran. And perhaps this could go on a little bit further than we even want it to. But now we have um, Iran and Israel, uh, two of the world's best friends, both with the same type of munitions that neither one of them should have, period. I want to say something, you know, when I see these things out there, it just makes me think I don't want that culture on either side. I don't want any of that radical religious stuff that those two have against each other, the seeds of Abraham. That's how far back their disagreement goes. Or was it Hagar's child that was blessed? Or was it Sarah's? But don't forget when perfection came, He gave us what we needed to be blessed with. American Water, 14 services have been hacked by a computer. Okay, this is pretty big now. Why are they hacking our water systems? And so this is happening in 14 states that have been hit across the United States and American Water Works. There's a cyber attack for the water supplier and its systems were hacked. Now, what I'm going to say is I hope they don't try putting either a disease or fentanyl, something else in there. But we got to have our heads up because there's a whole bunch of states that have been victimized from this, such as California, Georgia, Hawaii, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, Maryland, Missouri, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Virginia, and West Virginia. All of those states, your water services have been hacked. Could this be maybe one of the things that we've been put on alert by? There was supposed to be something major that has happened. And to me, that is definitely something major that has happened. Now, even though, again, the, the rest of the media in the world is not recognizing it, I am, and that is Iran conducts its first ever nuclear atomic bomb test. And through the seismic activity, like I said, that was registered, you can cross-reference that. I do believe now we have the Ayatollah Khomeini, and they have all the gas they need. And uh, mar marking one year of the anniversary of this war created by, uh, in my opinion, us, congratulations. You guys got what you asked for. I just really don't want that to affect America, and I think the present by Hurricane Helene and maybe Hurricane Melton. It's so that Americans can open up our eyes and see that our government is completely not there for us. You understand what I'm saying? Every dollar they have has gone to some bank account for some war to cause some sort of disagreement, to cause some sort of destruction with somebody's relative over there. We're even allowing Israel to bomb Lebanon when there was maybe 40,000 Americans and even American citizens that were killed in that attack from Israel. But yet, because it's Israel, we're supposed to turn a blind eye to that. Huh. No. No nation has that carte blanche on an American citizen, period, in my book. And so everybody that's trying to kiss up to just the superiority that they have through lobbying and brainwashing a majority of our Congress and Senate, they think they have the right to get away with murder. So Australia is trying to get 6,000 of her citizens out. Oh, yeah. France is trying to get its citizens out. And like I said, the numbers are probably higher than 40 or 50,000 United States citizens that are in Lebanon that were attacked and even some that were killed by Benjamin Netanyahu from his surprise attack. There is a leader that is actually outraged over this. He's outraged over everything, and he has pretty much pulled himself out of... Uh, NATO completely, and that would be Erdogan. And also today, America, today Kiev is getting systematically hit, and Putin is hitting them with 
here's the funny thing. A lot of drones, but then they even captured and killed some North Koreans. So what this tells me is that North Korea is in, in the game. And this is a world war, and they're even losing men out in the field. Kiev is the final city. I think they're being nice. I'll give you a little bit of heads up out there in the Ukraine for all those that you want to live. Hand over Zelensky and surrender, and you might sustain yourself. There was a ship that came in today full of munitions from the United Nations, NATO, and the United States, and it met its doom. It was exploded. We can't get anything done without Putin being on it and showing military superiority. And that's just a fact. Now, so we have Iran that has a nuclear power. We have Syria. And we have Benjamin Netanyahu that pretty much almost bombed a Russian munitions base. This is going to give Syria the S-400, S-500, and probably the Iskandar. Now, once we have the Iskandar in the hands of Syria, which you'll probably gift to them, I do not see, uh, I see basically Israel turning a different type of relationship with people, even from conventional hits uh, by the Is Iskandar. You're going to see a, a dramatic different uh, monologue with Israel not being such a bully with America in that area. Uh, this is the Prime Minister of Turkey behind me. This is Erdogan. Now, Erdogan, if you read what he says here, he was basically bombing places of worship, hospitals, and schools. Every crime that can be committed against humanity has been committed repeatedly by the state of Israel under the administration of Netanyahu, who resembles a Hitler, has brazenly committed all crimes against humanity in just the last 51 weeks. Erdogan blasts Bibi. Erdogan condemned Netanyahu, declaring Gaza a massive extermination camp. And he goes from there to going into Lebanon. It sealed the deal. This is what destroyed NATO and the United Nations. As of today, there is no more NATO because it was a power between the United States and Turkey. The rest of Europe is very weak, and they knew it. As such, just this week, we had Slovakia, Croatia, succumb to the side of Vladimir Putin. We also have Greece, Spain. You will see Italy and everybody else also crumble because they know that with Russia in an alliance, taking over, destroying the Ukraine, having an alliance with Belarus, all of the Baltic states can be taken over in a day, easy, very easy by the Russian military, and they know this. The fact that they have their enclave, Kaliningrad, that means that they can strategically bomb all of Europe very easy, and they know this. Here's a heads up, so treat the man with respect. Don't forget that the person that led the way for that respect was Viktor Orban, the same man that put a fence around his country. Poland, you better act your part because he will exterminate your butt and do it fast. Those are just my thoughts, and he'll be doing that with an alliance with Turkey. And you'll be getting attacked with all the latest and greatest tools from the United States. Now, we turned down his F-35 contract. He's fine with that because there's an onboard computer system that's got to get the American approval. But he's got the F-15-16s and every other type of mean thing that you can think of, and so does Saudi, and they're going to flip in the name of Islam. I've been saying this for so long. And uh, you can't buy that. And so right now we have Netanyahu wanting, trying to talk his own country into exterminating um, the Ayatollah when it's really just a race, in my opinion on as to who is going to be exterminated first. So, I mean, finally we have comedians talking about some funny things. And uh, O'Heal's up here. She's, uh, I don't think she's as, as dangerous as, as this other guy. Yeah. And uh, his investments are pretty heavy with uh, BlackRock and Vanguard in this war. And so she's saying something like she's really not attached to it. 
but you know they're pretty wealthy from being attached to it. And everybody's a puppet to it, and you can see it because you can see even now heels up is pulling away from Benny, but their investments are not. So it's like, do as I say, but don't do as I do, because I'm going to invest in the war machine that continues to destroy America. So everybody's pretty much a puppet in this administration. I haven't showed you we have a Secretary of State that's in contempt of Congress, Anthony Blinken. And I had to deep dive into his parents to learn that he has Jewish parents. So it's just like the interests of Israel, are they proportionate to the percentage of Jews in America? When I look at the cabinet, and when I look at the vice president, and I even look at the president on the other side, it's, it's overcompensated in our country. So, these are just the, the interesting things that I'm going to bring up. And these are some different entities. <clears throat> in the sky over Jerusalem, there's been these interesting things that are in the air. And... Uh, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. And Israel is being hit by the Houthis and Hamas in a joint task blast today. So Yemen bombards Israel. And remember, Yemen, so basically we have a couple of countries on the other side. There's missiles flying over Saudi Arabia. And uh, we've got Iran. We've got Yemen. We've got Qatar. We've got an alliance of everybody that uh, is extremely pissed on Netanyahu attacking Lebanon and Syria and Iran and Iraq and Jordan and Egypt. It just depends on how old you are. But like I said, every four years since the inception from 75 years ago when we gave Israel to Israel and the United Nations and NATO are falling today because hate breeds hate. And uh, every day now that I'm waking up, I'm wondering on as to who's going to do something stupid to the other side. And I'm just begging for us to open up our eyes and see that this is all our government is about. Because we funded this. And we shouldn't even be about this. We need to invest in water, clean water technologies, helping out people with agriculture. Israel did not just bomb Lebanon last night. Nope. They used illegal stockpile to bomb Lebanon last night. They used depleted uranium and plutonium and nuclear waste to bomb now what I'm going to show you is Spruce Pine, North Carolina. Now this is an aerial shot. And it turns out they make a lot of very interesting things up here. And there's a company called Unimin, U-N-I-M-I-N. They're pretty big about here in this area, at least they were 10 years ago. But this is where all these special crystals are made that make all the circuit boards that we're, we're wanting. And so uh, if, you, if you check it out, there's just all these very interesting, uh, well, luckily I did take some shots of it here for us to look at, but there's, you know, tons of precious uh, earth metals back here and crystals. And these mines even go down about 800 feet. And so all of our AI technology is, is really dependent on the high purity crystal quartz that's coming out of this place. And what they'll do, just to put it in a nutshell, is they'll grind it up and then soak it through acids. And then after the acid treatment, it kind of makes it go into different layers. And then we'll sell those other layers to you know, countries like Taiwan or China so that they can make motherboards or solar panels and all that type of stuff. Now, maybe God is exposing this 
so that we stop exporting this precious material. And it'll blow your mind to know that there's like $280 billion for this project behind me. But they don't even have a billion dollars for you. So is this a property grab? I've heard about them offering $750 for people, but most of people, unless they couldn't prove that they had a residence and a warranty deed, now why would they need that? Well, to steal that person's property. So the less people that they have on the surface here, the easier it will be to mine all of this precious stuff. Now, I thought that this was a total scam, but then when you studied East Palestine and where all these accidents have been, you learn that they have happened over areas that have precious minerals and rare earth elements. And then they were able to drive out the entire town of East Palestine, but it made it easy for certain people to come in and then mine that town. So now that we can see a pattern here, and we see the investments even from the first man, could this be them hurrying up to make this investment happen before this administration closes? Have they been using uh, trains and have they been using weather manipulation? Now these are just other thought processes that have been coming in and I've been hearing a lot of stuff about direct energy weapons, but it amazes me on as to all of the industries that, that, uh, that rely on this. So as you can see, Uninim and uh, Unimin, and from there they, they produce all of these other elements, and they supply all of the, uh, the raw earth elements that then these companies use to create uh, basically all of our cell phones and computers. So I think God's telling us, hey, close those doors and keep that stuff here. And now you know if you're sitting on something out there, don't sell it. Because you might be, sell you might be sitting on something, and this could be more than meets the eye. And so there you go. And if you analyze everything around Spruce Pine, North Carolina, well, you're sitting on a gold mine. Uh, and you need to understand that if you own the minerals in that area as well, uh, you're, you're literally sitting on one. So we have Trump on location. But uh, to me, I thought it was kind of cute, but he's wearing a yarmulke. So I'm, I'm, I want you to understand, you know, good old Rabbi Trump. Trump's basically, you know, he's a Jew. And Ivanka's a Jew. And Kamala's married to a Jew. So if you think that... Israel's not going to be taken care of. Well, you're wrong. And so, through what the media is seeing here, I think that it's going to make the other side scramble as fast as possible to damage Israel as quick as possible before Trump gets into office. So I see all of the damage. And then we're supposed to notice how, and I want you to notice, Kamala Harris only has $750 for you. It might be just so she can steal your property. But they don't have any money for you. This administration's let all of the illegal aliens take up the hotels, and now FEMA's taken up the hotels, but the people that need help, they don't get a hotel. We have been put last. So if you're not the Ukraine and if you're not Israel, it appears that we become last. And I want that to sink in. Yeah. So he's here with his uh, kippah, or he's here with his yarmulke. That's what I call it. And, uh, you know, he's celebrating the New Year, Rosh Hashanah. And uh, it's happening right here. And, uh, yeah, I do believe that, uh, well, he was not there right now, but, uh, yeah, he was wearing the yarmulke and uh, the kippah. So I can play it on another news source just so that we can see this here because it's, it's the symbols and what you see, which will be in the direction of what we're going. But the Middle East is seeing this, and they know that this guy here is no BS and he's a winner. 
And if he was in office now, we wouldn't be having this war. How far are they going to take it? They got just about a month left. They really have until next January. And so what are they delivering us? Hillary Clinton said there'll be an October surprise. And just today, I'm the only news source calling it. Iran has successfully detonated an atomic bomb. And that's why there was a no-fly zone. And the new year is upon us. And President Trump is wearing his yarmulke. And he's celebrating the new year. He has promised destruction even for Iran immediately. But there's now the time of basically just a month. Just another cycle of the moon. And uh, there's President Trump there with his yarmulke on. So, Israel's most dangerous time is right now. And so, pray for the people of Israel. Pray for Netanyahu not to do too many more dramatic moves until, until we have a president that can protect the world. This administration just invests in destruction. And the light is soon ready to come in. But it's a matter on if we can sustain ourselves until we come in. Again, this is President Trump. Literally just from a post from earlier today. And uh, he is praying for Israel. Now at the same time, we are uh, we're at a point where we need guys like me to get to work. So I started Drill Baby Drill, and you can go to americadrillbabydrill.com. And if you got a pulling unit, if you drill, if you need to be kept in service here in this country, I'm going to make that my job. And I don't want any of this oil to leave the United States. Our biggest enemy is actually government agencies like the EPA that have shut down our refineries here in the United States. And that is why we have these wicked pipelines that travel across sacred Indian grounds. This should not be permitted. The thing that needs to be understood is that we need to be able to do refineries over the basins where we produce oil and gas from so that it can go directly from the basin to the refinery to your tank in your car, not out to a port, not out to Saudi Arabia, because I'll tell you, when my sour ga gas, when my sour oil leaves the state of Texas, I guarantee you they take that sulfur, they make gunpowder in it, and it's going to be used against our boys and girls out there that are fighting for freedom. This isn't just some subliminal afterthought, it's an actual fact. And we're giving away our coal, our saltpeter, our sulfur, and all the elements that we need that can be fired back at ourselves. And so we need to safeguard those things and produce these things and keep all these jobs here at home, or it'll be the end of us. We can't just remain to be a consumer market because we need the jobs here to stimulate the consumer market. So again... This is what I believe in. It's Drill Baby Drill. Go to America, Drill Baby Drill. And understand that it's going to get a lot worse because NATO and the United Nations, the very countries that even got together to safeguard Israel, have been dismantled by Israel. As Israel has attacked ten other countries claiming that it is a defensive move. And for those of us that support anything that Israel would do, understand it is Netanyahu, not Israel. And that is clear to me. It is clear to every general. It is clear to every country, just like our ally that we lost, Turkey. And when we wake up tomorrow, it's going to be Saudi Arabia and Egypt. And only because of time, do I know what I'm talking about? Anyways, thank you so much for joining me here at the American News Network. Understand that Iran has successfully tested a nuclear bomb. North Korea is itching and frothing at the seat to hit South Korea and Japan. 
and those are just the facts. God bless everybody and try to look out for your brothers and sisters and everybody that you can. Amen.